Hello everyone. Myself Shreya Gulgulia is presenting before you the first lecture of Medieval India series. The PDF of this lecture is available on my Telegram channel. Link of the same is given in description box below. The Medieval India rulers employed court historians in order to maintain the records of their activities in a systematic way. They mostly stressed the political events, but in works of the following significant writers, we get stray references of cultural history also. Archaeological records and various texts written in Turkey, Arabic, Hindi, and Sanskrit are also significant source material for knowing the history of contemporary period. Chachnama. It is the most significant and authentic fundamental source material of the history of a ruling dynasty of Sindh at the time of Arab invasion in AD 711. It was written by some unknown writer in Arabic language. The events of Arab invasion in India and the valor of King Dahir have been discussed in it. Tahqiq e Hind Al Baruni, the famous historian of medieval India, wrote this book in Arabic. Its English translation is done by C. Sachau and later on Rajni Kant Sharma translated this book in Hindi. During Mahmud's Indian invasion, Al-Baruni was with him. He wrote the account of the country in his book entitled Tahqiq e Hind. This book is an authentic primary source of information about the socio-religious conditions of India. He also analyzed in a proper way the reasons of defeat of Hindus. He has painted an impartial picture of contemporary political, social, economic and religious conditions of India. Kitab ul Yamini It was written by famous author Uttabi, who was among the personal staff of Sultan Mahmud Ghaznavi. This book is a fine piece of Arabic. Its English version was made by James Reynolds. He has described the event of the reign of Muhammad Ghaznavi up to AD 1020. Taz ul Masir. This book is written by Has, uh, Hassan Nizami. Hassan Nizami uh, is born in Nishapur and migrated to Delhi and joined the service of Abak. Taz ul Masir is the first historical narrative which throws light on Delhi Sultanate. This book contains history of Qutbuddin Abak. Nizami started writing this book in Arabic language but later he switch, uh, switched the language to Persian. Tabakat e Nasiri Minhaz us Siraz is the author uh, of this book. He belonged to an aristocratic family of Central Asia. His father served Muhammad Ghari as Qazi and spiritual guide. Minhaz was brought to Delhi and patronized by Sultan due to his qualities of head and heart. During the reign of Il Tutmish, he progressed very rapidly and in AD 1235 was appointed the chief Qazi of Delhi. Balban also lavished praise on him. He wrote the history of Islamic world in 25 volumes under the title Tabakat e Nasiri. Volume 1 deals with earlier prophets and the ancestors of Muhammad and birth of Islam. Volume 2 to 10 deals with or contains the history of Khalifas and Muslim rulers of different countries. The successive volumes contains the description of Ghaznavis, Sultan of Ghor, and attacks of Mongol on Muslim kingdom. Works of Amir Khusro Amir Khusro adorned the courts of all Sultan from Balban to Giyasuddin Tughlaq. His major works include Miftah ul Fatuh. This is composed in a verse and it contains all the military campaigns of Zalaluddin Khilji. Deval Rani and Kijra Khan Amir Khusro described the story of love adventure of Kijra Khan and Deval Rani. Khazin ul Fatah It is a uh, return form of prose and it contains description of the victories of Alauddin Khilji. Nuh e Sifir It is a poetic work by Ab Amir Khusro and it contains the political and social condition of the reign of Qutbuddin Mubarak, uh, Mubarak Shah. Tughlaq Nama It is a Mansavi written by 
uh, Amir Khusro and it contains the victories of Giyasuddin Tughlaq against Khusro Khan has been highlighted in this book. Tariq e Firoz Shahi This famous book was written by Ziauddin Barani. History of one century from AD 1259 to AD 1353 has been described in Tariq e Firoz Shahi of Barani. His book is a continuation of Tabakat e Nasiri which is written by Minihas. Fatahut e Firoz Shahi Sultan Firoz Shah has written a small book of 32 pages in autobiographical manner. It describes in brief military campaigns he describes his success and failures in a clear way it throws light on the attempts of the sultan for propagation of islam futuh us salatin it was written by khwaza abdul malik isami and it contains the event of turkish rule in india from ghaznavis to muhammad bin tughlaq he was forced to migrate to daulatabad when muhammad bin tughlaq shifted his capital from delhi to daulatabad he had to suffer great hardship in deccan and passed a very wretched life hence he could not have a soft corner for muhammad bin tughlaq malfuzut e timuri amir timur it is the autobiography of amir timur it was originally written in turkey and later translated into persian by abu talib hussein timur has highlighted his own cruelties in this autobiography in a straight forward way it also provides significant information about the history of later tughlaq rulers tariq e mubarak shahi written by uh, yaha bin ahmad it is the only book that contains the history of sayyid dynasty but it also contains the history of muhammad gauri and his succeeding rulers up to the third ruler of sayyid dynasty kitab ur rahla among the travelers who visited india and wrote their memories the name of ibn babuta batuta is quite not worthy his book rahla throws ample light on the political and social uh, socio cultural history of contemporary period rahla was originally written in arabic and it is translated into english by mahdi hussain it is very significant source of the reign of muhammad bin tughlaq and also throws light on contemporary socio political conditions that were present at the time of muhammad bin tughlaq tujuk e babri This book is also known as Babar Nama and it is the autobiography of Babar. This book is written in Turki language as Turki was the mother tongue of Emperor Babar. It not only throws light on the personal life and achievements of Babar but it is the most authentic source of knowing the history of contemporary period. Owing to its significance and lucid style, Babar is ranked high among autobiographers. Besides some political events Babar has thrown ample light on social cultural and natural conditions of India Kanun e Humayuni Khavandir wrote this book and it depicts the character and the personality of Humayun Khavandir visited India in 1528 and joined the court of Babar after the death of Babar Humayun patronized him and instructed him to write this book It also throws light on the rules and regulation uh, of Humayun's time. His love for astrology and his achievements in field of architecture are also represented in this book. Tariq-e-Rashidi, written by Mirza Muhammad Haider. Mirza Muhammad Haider, who was born in 1599, was a cousin of Babar uh, and he wrote this book in Persian language. he has thrown light upon the events which took place during the reign of babar and humayun humayun nama gul badan begum daughter of babar and real sister of hindal wrote this book in persian language during the reign of akbar before mentioning anything about humayun she wrote about the character of babar uh, her father his behavior towards relative important events of his reign and about the sickness and death of babar she also mentioned various events of the reign of humayun up to 1555 ad tariq e sher sahi 
is returned by Abbas Khan Savarni in Persian. He was a man of literary taste and agreed to write an account of achievements of Sher Shah Shuri at the instructions of Emperor Akbar. He has also thrown light on the career and administration of Sher Shah Shuri. Tariq e Dari Abdullah of Aligarh has returned this book. and it consists and this book uh, was written during the reign of zahangir this book consists of the event of bahlol lodi to sher shah suri next book is akbar nama akbar nama is written by abul fazal and it is divided into three parts the first part contains the reign of amir taimur to humayu and in the second and third part the learned author has thrown light on history of the reign of akbar up to 1602 ad aine akbari it is also written by abul fazal and it this book was published by asiatic society of bengal this book is also in three volumes and it is translated into english by h s jarrett tabaqat e akbari written by nizamuddin ahmed he was appointed as the post of mir bakshi in the court of akbar it contains the event which took place between ad 1193 to 1594 it contains the event uh, it also contains the akbar's childhood event that have not been mentioned in akbar nama by abul fazal tujuk e jahangiri This is the autobiography of Jahangir, the most significant source of information about the reign of Jahangir. Jahangir have followed the full uh, footsteps of his ancestor Babur, resorted to strenuous work of writing his autobiography and penned the history of early 17 years of his reign with his own hands. but later due to his illness he deputed Mutamid Khan for completion of his work. It contains detailed account of battles, conquests, appointments and dismissals of civil and military personnel. It being an autobiography throws ample light on the character and personality of Emperor Jahangir and also highlights his weakness. But he has not mentioned details of his own revolt against his father. The author has also depicted the economic and natural conditions of India in a very lively way. Iqbal Nama. This book is written by Muhammad Sharif Khan, who was a military officer in army of Jahangir. This book is written after the completion of Tuzuk e Jahangiri. This book is divided into three parts. The first part deals with the history of Amir Taimur to Himayu. The second refers to Akbar and the third contains history of the reign of Jahangir. This is the only book that discusses the influence of Noor Jahan on contemporary politics and epidemic which broke out during the reign of Jahangir. Padshah Mana Padshah Mana Muhammad This book is written by Muhammad Amin Kaznavi on the instruction of Shah Jahan for first 10 years and after first 10 years this book is written by Abdul Hamid Lahori for next 10 years Kaznavi was asked to discontinue the writing of Padshah Mana just after 10 years of beginning the same Abdul Hamid was assigned the work of writing this precious book History of next 10 years reign of Sahaza is written by Abdul Hamid and it contains the splendor of the court of Sahaza daily routine of Sahaza and distribution of various posts to noble amirs and scholars the last part of this book is written by Muhammad Waris after Abdul Hamid Lahori had grown quite old Waris who was a disciple of Lahori completed this book He has paid due attention to dates and the chronology of events. Hence, the creation of Varis is an authentic work for knowing the history of contemporary period. Alam Gir Nama. It is a book written by Mirza Muhammad Qasim, and it contains early ten years reign of Aurangzeb. Masir A Alam Giri, written by Muhammad Saki Mustaid Khan, uh, and it is written on the basis of official records. It contains the history of 51 years rule of Aurangzeb. The author started writing this book on the instructions of the emperor but it was completed after 3 years of the death of Aurangzeb. Tariq-e-Shah Sujai 
it was returned by Mir Muhammad Masoom, who was in service of Prince Suja, who was the son of Aurangzeb. As Mir Masoom was uh, uh, was in service of Prince Suja, he had access to official records. Hence, as vividly described, the events that took place in imperial court. It is, however, an important source of knowing the history of contemporary period. I hope you liked this video. If you do, then please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.